Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, today we're going to talk about November. So, November is um, one of those kind of challenges that artists put themselves through to actually better their skills and also improve the way they do create things and how they do work with nodes. This is the second time it is coming over to Blender as a form of eventful challenge and this challenge is similar to the scope january the may made and also the inktober challenge that happens for artists so in case you are a texturing artist or you like creating procedural stuff this is definitely for you and i don't think this is actually limited to blender despite the fact that blender are the guys that have actually come out with this for the month of november and we also have another firm that is actually coming up with something like this which is substance so substance designer is also joining the november and i think this is the first time substance designer is actually joining this but last year we saw that of blender and as well was seeing blender repeat this thing again this year so for substance designer they have their own sketch of things that they would like artists to go ahead and create starting from first of november all the way to 30th and also if you're working with nodes directly in blender you can also see that from here and i kind of think that since this is something that has to improve the way people work with nodes uh it would be nice for other you know other software package users to also dive in and also see what and what they can learn from these one thing to also note is that the creators of november has gone ahead to split the month into six different categories so in case you want to create things that are natural phenomenon nature craft technology space variation yes of course you can find all of these things and i'm actually strongly saying that anyone that is not making use of blender can definitely go ahead and use whatever software of choice and see what and what they can work with the whole november idea is to give you some sort of guide so that you can create these things some certain things are not to be included within the period of creating this stuff first and foremost you do not need to you know sculpt and you don't need to do any form of modeling everything has to be auto generated by the node but i think if you need things like alphas and materials you can go in you know get a couple of them and play with them and by the way if you want those free alphas and free materials that you can work with link is going to be in the description where you can find a ton of things that you can play with from the free friday episode and also on the weekly you know uh announcements at the same time you probably choose whenever you want to participate and also this is a challenge and it is not a contest so you are not by any form compelled to do any of these things you can literally see that there is no prize money to be won for this it is just helping you you know sharpen your skill and do all of that stuff if you want to see some interesting ideas you can also come over to the twitter page which i'm going to put link in the description so that you can be able to find this and you'll be able to see some incredible and interesting things that other artists have been making. We've already covered how you can create lavas like this in the channel. And we've also talked about how you can work with Hypershade and also how you can work with the shader graph in both Maya and also in Blender. So you can also check those in the channel. And I'm also going to put link in the description and probably an end note so you guys can see these ones and how you can work with them. Other things to also have in mind is in case you want to work with the substance side of things uh there are certain places you can also find resources so if you go to 80.lv you would be able to find a couple of resources there or you can simply choose one of the courses from Javier Perez who is one of the leading substance designer that I know of so you can you know come here see some stuff you would like to play with use them and get better so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section are you into joining these challenges which of them do you think you would like to work with what software do you use right now and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button and also turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video or the next episode and check the channel to see if there's a couple of things you would like to see and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace